let's talk about the five types of light and we'll do a, a more direct uh, simplified version of that just to clarify um, what I mean by that. What I've got here is a very simple drawing of a rock. Um, we'll have some snow on there. We'll put some part of it in shadow. So we see snow in light and snow in shadow, rock in light, rock in shadow, and so on and so forth. So we'll do a very basic initial value, which we'll call the rock in shadow. So let's just say we've got rock. What I'm painting is the rock in shadow. Um, well, the shadow value of rock. Now, I may paint into areas that I know will not be shadow. That's mostly to give myself some underlying value that I can paint over. Okay, so this is really just isolating those areas we may determine to be rock in shadow and nothing more than that. So let's take that down to about there. I'll throw you down there as well. Okay, so there's a set value, set color, and a set color temperature. But while I'm in shadow, let's continue with shadow. So we've got, say, aspects of snow. For example, some of it out of there so we have snow and shadow and I'm just gonna pretty much go for a straight white paint here just for the hell of it Let's just say there's a little bit of light catching in there. And I'll bring that up. So on and so forth. I'm going to use this straight neutral gray three for the rock in sunlight because it's pretty. And as you can see, maybe you can't see, that neutral gray three is almost exactly the same color and value as this paper. It is 
So I could almost leave. the paper as my color and value. Still a little on the light side. I'm going for a half tone now. So maybe there's transition from one plane to the next. So we've done our rock and light. Well, actually, I'm going to, you see where that paper's, or the, this neutral gray three is drying. We have the paper value right here. And the neutral gray three is drying slightly darker than that. So I'm going to that's given us a couple of extra or an extra value there. So we have sort of a lighter value and a secondary light value, a half tone value, and a shadow value of the rock. Let's throw in, there's a bit of sunlight hitting this snow here, and let's say there's some light bouncing up into some of these surfaces. We're going to get light bounce into there, we'll get some in there and some in there. And this may actually match some of that half tone there. The light that's in closest proximity to the or the planes or the surfaces that are in closest proximity to the to the snow to that light area. So there's a little bit of light there, but it might kick a tiny bit of reflected light into these faces just here. But just enough to reflect some in there. Possibly some up here, just a little. This may still be slightly too. That area right at the base of the snow that's Without getting super crazy about this, we have one aspect left. So far we've done the, well actually what I might, one thing we probably should do here is some of that transition between the snow and the, the shadow. Just a, Soften that a little. Got a little more believable, particularly at this, the furthest edges. This would be an accent of some description. highlights, so on and so forth. Certain, certain planes of the rock that may happen to be sympathetic to the To the sunlight. And then it's catching some of these smaller areas. Depending on how close we are to to this to the rock or the structure or the object you may have these other uh, 
I don't want to overdo these guys because they can actually start to stand out a little bit too much. So you have to be quite sparing and careful about how you how you deal with these guys, the darkest darks. And I'm going to leave that at that. Very quick, five types of light. So we have our light. Shadow, half tone, accent, reflected light, and one of those darks there is also an accent. Okay, so that's a view of the rock painting in monotone. Just to give you an idea of values without the color.